Hello everybody. Hey, I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about the underlayments on our craps tables. We see a lot of different posts in the different forums about what they use. You know, I've seen things like newspaper, closed cell phone, vinyl, flannel, uh, you name it. Uh, somebody's probably put it underneath their, uh, their layout and uh, built a craps table over it. But what actually mimics your casino? And that's kind of the million dollar question because you want to try to play on something that you play on or practice on something that you play on a lot. Uh, so here in my area, um, we've got one uh, casino that has a bit of a bouncy surface, and in a, about an hour away, I've got one that's a little bit more of a traditional harder surface. So I wanted to take an opportunity, redo my table a little bit, and then put something bouncy on one side and something traditional on the other. So I pulled a couple of people, talked to them, see what they use, and tried to figure out how I wanted to do mine. And I ended up using closed cell foam on half the table, and then flannel uh, on the other side. And I've got some video that I'm gonna show you of the, the, the shots um, directly on top of those underlayments. So uh, half of it's gonna be on the, the uh, closed cell phone, half of it's gonna be on top of the vinyl. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I put the felt back on uh, so that you can kind of get a, a good sense of uh, what it really looks like. Now, I will also say that um, I did put a layer of vinyl all the way across the table. So I've got a layer of vinyl on top of the plywood, a layer of the closed cell foam down here, and then a layer of flannel uh, down here. And of course I had to pull it tight and uh, try to, to mimic the uh, real world casino uh, conditions as, as best I possibly could. So the next few uh, minutes we're gonna see uh, some video of the different bounces. And if you're thinking about uh, putting together your own table, uh, take a look at these bounces. It might help you decide which way you want to go with your own.
Okay, so there you have it. Now you've seen some examples of where we have a bouncy surface on the closed cell foam, and we also have kind of a hard surface with using just the flannel on top of the vinyl. And the examples that you saw in the video, we had some of them with just vinyl. And you can see that the dice just died pretty much on impact. Once you added that layer of flannel, it gave it a little bit of a bounce, but not much. You know, if you have, take a look at the alligator rails, it very rarely went up above maybe that second, um, about that second level of the pyramids. But when you added in the cell phone, when you started to do the bouncy side, one of the things that I noticed the most on that is the dice kept moving for a long time after it hit the back wall and came back. It's kind of like a popcorn effect. It's a pop, 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 pop. Um, so there you have it, a couple of different ways that you could construct your table uh, to mimic your local casino and hopefully give you a bit of an advantage.